Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. We are here back in X Plane at La Mole Airport in the south of France with a plane that is also French, kind in a way, right? And that is the Concorde, of course. And as I've already said in the beginning here of this video, this is uh, Flight Simulator Fun, and today we're gonna have some fun indeed. Yes, what we got right in front of us is a special version of the Concorde, which is already one of the fastest airliners that ever existed. This version is even faster than the normal Concorde. Let me just show you how that is. Well, basically, as you can see, the engines are running at idle and you cannot hear anything. And that's because these are not normal jet engines, but these are uh, rocket engines, which when they run on idle, I guess, do not make any sound because, you know, it's not how rocket engines work, right? Okay, that's nothing. It doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and fly this rocket powered plane. Just giving it a little thrust here already, you know, puts it into a position where it's got a lot of power, right? But all right, we're at... 50% thrust now, and we can already see some rocket stuff, right? Yeah, welcome to Swiss Soldier 1, we're always scientific. And again, I'm giving only half the thrust that this plane can give. Let's go for full power now and see how well this plane flies. And we can already see here with the uh, airspeed indicator, this is uh, going up 200 knots. This thing is pretty much as fast right now as a fighter jet, but it can probably go faster, right? Yeah, um, welcome aboard the rocket engine Concorde. Now, the actual <laughs> interesting challenge about this one right now is when is this plane going to run out of fuel because literally the fuel tanks are instead of, of being filled with jet fuel jet a1 fuel they are now filled with rocket fuel i guess is that hydrogen in english I think it's hydrogen in English, right? I don't know. I'm not the English scientist uh, rocket, but that doesn't matter. As long as our Concorde flies, and it flies quite well, what we can already tell is that my computer is actually starting to struggle with the insane speed of this airliner. Let's go ahead and actually pull up a Mach counter, which is going to show us really how fast we are in uh, Mach. Here we go. The Mach counter is all the way here in the left corner. We're already going Mach 1.5, which is, uh, you know, faster than the speed of sound. The speed of sound is one Mach, and... Uh, uh, well, my computer is struggling to load all the buildings because we're so fast but so low to the ground at the same time. But actually, so far, we're not faster than the normal version of this plane, the normal Concorde. The normal Concorde used to be able to fly at speed of up to 2 Mach, which we've, <laughs> we have hit that now. All right. And now what's happened is that we've run out of fuel in our Concorde with a special version, right? Let's go ahead then and um, put some fuel back in. We can simply cheat that here. Since we're in the flight simulator, we can do that. All right, perfect. And by the way, according to the flight simulator, this is given as a flight time of 41 seconds. That'll get it to New York. Now, we're super fast. Uh, I mean, you know, we have to consider this plane can only reach its normal cruising speeds of, like, 2 Mach again at altitudes of, like, 60,000 feet, right? Right now, we are at 6,000. <laughs> where it's obviously a lot harder to gain that kind of speed above ground. Um, let's just go ahead then and get our Concorde already landed again. This was just a, a simple test flight. Let's go ahead and set the engines back to... Uh oh Here we go. Let's actually go back to idle thrust. And as you can see, my computer is totally struggling with this. Actually, you can see here in the instrument panels of the engines, the needles are completely broken because this engine is so over overpowered compared to the normal Concorde, obviously. Now, where is the runway that we're about to land at? I don't know. It's probably ahead. That's the thing about going so fast. We're still faster than the speed of sound, right? I do not know where the airport is exactly. I think actually uh, it's, it's ahead still. Oh, that's been a crash. That's gone out of control. See, that's, we probably just broke apart because I overstressed the G limits. Welcome to Swiss Surgery 1, professional flying as always. So yeah, that is the Concorde Plus for you even faster. Not particularly more efficient. As you can see, we ran out of the field within 40 seconds, but that's another story. We've got some more interesting planes just for this one. All right, so you all remember the Antonov An-900, the even bigger version of the Antonov An-225, which is already the biggest plane on Earth, right? This is just a little bit of a concept that's even bigger. Uh, but as you can see right down here, it has rocket engines on it. Let's just see how fast these will go. All right, welcome aboard the An-900. As I've said, it's a big plane. It's a really big one. And it, just just compare that to these normal planes, that are these private jets from Cessna. Yeah, no chance. And I don't even know if this plane is going to be able to take off out of here. I mean, this plane's like half as long as the runway itself. This is the An-900 indeed. But what we can try is taking off with the help of powerful jet engines. Well, uh, rocket engines. Now, let's go full power on the thrust again and try getting this this plane off into the air, which will... I, I mean, we're just gonna see. All right, oh my god, this is super fast. All right, as you can see, that did not take a long runway, did it? And we're already super fast. We are at Mach 2 already. Jesus Christ. And we've <laughs> run out of fuel. <laughs> okay, uh, that didn't take long. That literally took 
three seconds. Yes, fully filling the fuel tank of this plane gives us a flight time of a zero seconds. <laughs> Jesus. All right, come on. How fast can we get this one? All right, 2.5 mark. 2.7, 3.0. I'm, I'm probably gonna get this flight simulator to crash just how fast and how big this plane is, right? Okay, let's go and fill this plane up with fuel again. All right, looking good. Let's fill, about, fill it up again so that we have constant uh, speed going. Let's go. 3.8 mark. Things are getting louder and louder since this plane is so big and obviously there's so much air, you know, flowing against the aircraft that it's just crazy loud. Here we go. We have terrain warning because we're so fast and... <laughs> flying above mountains. All right, we need some more fuel again. How fast are we now? All right, airspeed indicator has broken. That's good. Jesus, all right, more fuel, more fuel. We need more fuel. There we go. Oh, this is so loud. But I'm very happy that this plane actually works now, right? Now, I do wonder what happens when we actually go throttle idle now. Oh, damn. The acceleration of this plane was so fast that we're barely even able to handle with the plane not accelerating anymore. Like, that's how fast we're stopping. Let's just go ahead and land this plane down here in this valley. That's how fast and how big we are as well. I think we're, we were probably to survive this. That's how big this plane is. All right, come on. There we go. I mean, this, as you can see, this planet is barely loading. There we go. That's been a landing now in the Alps. We've just flown how many miles? I don't know. Within just a few minutes. Jesus Christ. Across the whole country of France, basically. I'm just trying to load back to Le Mole Airport to our, you know, <laughs> departure airport. And it's not working. I think the flight, yeah, it's, it's crashed now. God damn it. Okay, that just took like two hours to load, but we're back with the Anon 100. What can we say about this plane and especially the special version of this plane? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this is just a concept plane of a concept plane because the Anon 100 doesn't even exist in real life, right? It's only the Anon of N225 that barely, I mean, there's only one Anon of N225, right? Uh, so yeah, that's that. What we can actually do here though, as well as carry another aircraft. For example, we can uh, carry, what can we carry? We can do anything really. Ah, uh, carry, what can we do? An Antonov 225 would be ironic to carry, right? Yeah, spoke him up. <laughs> Duh. This one actually has the Baran shuttle on board as well, the Antonov and 125, which is basically a fake Russian version of the space shuttle. And obviously still, this plane is super fast. <laughs> that literally took, an, it took a runway of like 12 meters. So yeah, I'm really starting to like this. You know, very agile, thanks to the speed as well. Uh, yeah, welcome to X-Planes Flight Simulator. What we cannot do here is actually separate here the planes, but that's another story. We can torture the Ant-225. Oh, now we've tortured both planes. Uh, there's one more plane that I wanted to show you that's also been turned into a rocket version, and, and that's the CRJ-900. Uh, yeah. Alright, CRJ-900, how do you fly? Let's go. Alright, rocket engines, they, they are audible, and the plane even moves, even though these rocket engines does, do not appear to be very powerful, to be quite honest. Ah, uh, well, they do deliver some power. Okay, they're, they're gonna be able to put this plane up into the air, right? Okay, that's fine. Okay, 100 knots, 110, okay. Now, this plane does not have particularly more power than usual, but it does sound better, doesn't it? That's very nice. <clears throat> yeah, it's not very much faster. Not much more efficient than the normal CRJ, I guess. How much fuel have we already used? We, we, we took off with the full tanks. Now we've al already used like half of the fuel tanks. Given us a remaining flight time of two minutes. So yeah, that is rocket converted planes to you. And uh, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.